Hey YouTube, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to root and install Marshmallow on a Galaxy S3. This is the GT i9 305. So, let's just have a look at what it looks like. Here you can see the grids changed. It's not, icons are a little, little bit smaller than they were originally. Let's just let that focus. Alright, you'll see under settings, the settings have changed. You have the quick settings like you do on the S7. And you have the cool white icons and the white background with the new looking icons. And it is really fast. You also have that cool, that little that, um, animation. I don't know what you'd call it. So you've got that. It's like a lollipop. This isn't actually marshmallow. It is Eclipse ROM made by Eclipse. Thanks Eclipse for making this. And it is 4.4.4 Android, so it is KitKat. But it is based on the Android marshmallow of the Galaxy S7. So there you see it's got that. Right, now let's have a look at other stuff it's got. It's got a new look of the power, new power menu look, that's pretty cool. It's got new weather. It has got a new notification bar, as you can see before. It's got all these cool new features. It's got the multi window, let's have a look at that. Right, so you know you grab from the top. Right down, so there you go. And settings has been resized. And you can drag that and drop it wherever you put your page. Now if you use the, the menu button here, now if you click the menu button, you get these you get the resets. You don't get menu anymore. To get menu you have to hold the menu button down. There you go. Alright, and you can also hold down the home button like you did before. But it's easier just to push that menu button and open resets. So now let's have a look on installing this. What you're going to need to do first is root it. So now, you guys may have tried loading custom recoveries and tried rooting using methods like can root. That stuff, that, those methods don't work. And as for the custom ROMs, the custom recoveries, they won't work until you've rooted, that, until you've rooted the phone. And I found that out the hard way. So let's first start by rooting it. So what we're going to be using is an app called CF Auto Root, and we're going to be flashing that that zip with Odin. So let's get started. Right there, you see CF Auto Root. What you're going to do is you're going to unzip it, let's extract it all, and extract. Right, now that's done. Now you're going to use Odin. So you're going to open up Odin. Wait for Odin to open. Alright, Odin. Then you're going to... And firstly, you're going to put the phone into, develop, into download mode. So, you're gonna, this is how you do it. You're going to power it off. Power off. Turn off. Right, off. You might want to unplug this to make it a bit easier. So it's going to start it up again. I'm going to take the battery out. Firstly, what you want to do is start, stop it so it, the whole thing turns off. Alright, that's done. All phone is off. Put it back on. Right. You need to hold down the volume down button, power button, and the home button. And you're going to push those down simultaneously. You push them down, and it'll open download mode. And you're going to click continue, and it'll take you there. Then plug in the cable. So you plug it in, and put the phone down on its stand. Now you see. It's done this little thing and this here is on blue and it says COM6. If it says COM5, 
it means that your download mode is not on yet. You then need to put it in download mode before it will work. Then you need to tick AP and open AP. None of the others, just AP. Then you see there's CF Auto Root. You're going to click on it. And you will see it freezes for a moment. Then click on Start. And it will do its trick. You'll see the phone will start doing stuff. There, yeah, blue bar. And it's done. Once that reboots, you'll see that your phone has got root installed. And let's just wait for that. Close Odin. There, that's what it does. It's got the little Android guy with the, with the R patch. And all these, all this writing. We'll just wait for this to go away and wait for it to boot. Part of booting. Galaxy S3, GT R9 CFR. This does work on the R9 300 as well. I'll leave a link in the description for the ROM. The R9 300 is a lot easier to root and a lot easier to get ROMs for. So bear that in mind. If you have an R9 300, this task will be a lot easier for you. I'll be back when it's finished booting. Alright guys, so you see we're greeted with the starting app screen and it says Android is upgrading. Basically what it's doing is it's telling you that it's got super user installed, that's the app that it's upgrading. Alright, so now you unlock it and you'll see now that it will have super SU. There you go, super SU. If you didn't have that before, it'll be there now. Now what we need to put in is the custom recovery. So I'm using Twerp. Twerp is my favorite. So that's the one I'm going to be using. Let's go back to Odin. Odin. Alright. Open Odin. Now you're going to go to AP. Open AP. And you go to your locate your file that you don't, that you're using. I'm going to have to go into my memory stick because this is in my computer, this is my sister's computer. At the moment it's too noisy where my computer is, so I'll be using this one. Right there. Twip. There it is, twip. Open it up. Move that out the way. You're gonna put the phone back into download mode. So get the battery out. That is the fastest way to kill it. Take the battery out. Put it back in again. The cover back on. Alright, again, volume down and power button and home button simultaneously. Alright, volume up, plug it in. And it pops up, so it is recognizing it. Hit start. And there we go. The phone will then start to do its own thing. It's going to start doing this, what you need to do is take out the battery, unplug it, take out the battery, and go straight to recovery mode. You do that, put the battery back in, put the cover on because this is the last time you're going to be taking the battery out. Oops, starting up again. Alright, battery's out. Alright, then we're going to go into recovery mode. So this time you're going to go volume up. R button and home button. So this time it's volume up. We're going to need the last file, which is the ROM. So there's Eclipse ROM right there. We're going to need to plug the phone in so that we can put it onto the device. 
once the phone is started, I will be right back. Alright guys, so once you've plugged, once it's rebooted and you've plugged it into your computer, and move the file that you remove and you've moved the ROM into your phone, then you reboot back into recovery and you end up here where I am. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off by doing another factory reset just in case. So you start it sideways, do your reset and go back. Alright, go back again. Then you're going to go to install and you're going to locate your file. Now I've just put mine inside the, there, there's mine there, Eclipse. Um, just give me a minute to focus. Alright, there you can see it there, Eclipse. I nine two oh five. Make sure it's same as your model, as same as your model number. Otherwise, it's going to be a problem. It will your phone will end up in a boot loop. So make sure it's the same. Then once you're done, click on it, slide it sideways, and let it do its own thing. Now you see there's a little blue bar sliding sideways. Let it do its thing. Good. We started doing stuff. All right, guys, I'm back and it's finished. So now it says swipe cache or slash Delphit. See that there? Come on, focus. Sorry, guys, the lighting in here is really bad. All right, there you go. And then the other one says reboot system. So you're going to click on this one here on the right. It says reboot system. Click on it and it will restart your phone. Now this is going to take quite a while. That that, um, that flash took about 10 minutes, so don't worry about it. It's going to take a very long time. Don't turn your phone off because it will mess up your phone. And then this reboot, don't worry about that. This is also going to take a really long time. So you just wait for it to start. You see, it's got the new the new boot animation. So just leave it, wait for it to start, and then once it started, then well, yeah, it's working. So don't worry about it, let it go, I will be back as soon as it's done. Alright guys, we're back, and as you can see, it brings you to this welcome screen. Now, it's going to start off in um, you know, that language, you're going to click on it, if you're English, and you're going to put it onto English. So let's locate English. Alright, English, and United States. I'm from... South Africa. I'm from South Africa, but yeah, United States is nicer. So we just hit start. I'm sure you guys all know how to do this, but let's go through it anyway. You configure your Wi-Fi. So let me do that, show you it's working. Yeah, obtaining IP address, connected, so it's working perfectly. Hit the next button. I understand, hit yes, and next. Yes, you can put them in. Yeah, put in your details. My sister's phone, so let's just put in her name. Her name is Kathleen. And our surname is Hargraves. Right. Now you see it's got Samsung accounts. Once you set that up, you can get themes and stuff. Right, so you skip that. Now we we'll skip it. And then that's your device name. Change it to whatever you want to see. And finish. Once it's finished, it's going to take you to your home screen. And you see it's got S7 look. Right. There we go. So, I think it's working flawlessly, guys. It's really, really, really fast. Like, it's faster than it was as with the stock S3 ROM. It's also got that little slide up. I've just noticed that now. Right, guys. So, there you go. Here's another new thing. New browser on the S3. That's pretty awesome. Um... What else is new? Gallery. Gallery is changed. New gallery. Um, we've got music player. 
new music player. It's a really, really awesome music player. Let's see some music here. I know she's got good music because she uses my music. So let's play. Let's try to play something that's not going to have a copyright effect on me. So, okay, here's something I made. There we go. Alright. You see, that's a song I've made, so no one's going to have any copyright problems with me. Alright, you got this little effect thing here. Alright, you see, pretty cool. Surround sound, you have bass boost when you have earphones in. You get your little widget in the notification bar like other phones. You get to push that little button there and get info and playlists. There you get other songs from the from the same album. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. I will really appreciate it. Um if you guys like my channel, hit the subscribe button, I'll appreciate that even more. And um yeah guys if you have a problem leave it in the comments and just tell me what you think of the ROM, tell me what you think of the phone, tell me what you think of everything. If you think of my videos, you think I need a new camera, I think I do. It will improve when I get my new phone. I plan on getting an S7, so once that's here, it will be a lot better. Otherwise, I need to get an actual camera. I have a GoPro, but my Galaxy S5 has actually got better quality than that, so I decided I'll just use that. So, yeah, anyway, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.